All right, owner operators, welcome back. My name is Steve with LRM Leasing. Today we're gonna to talk about the serpentine belt. I wanna teach you guys how to take it off, how to diagnose it, and also to save you guys some money. So just so you guys know, the serpentine belt goes around the alternator, the AC compressor, the water pump, and also your crank and a few idler pulleys. So what we wanna to do today is, we're gonna show you how to take it off. There's gonna be some tools you're gonna to need. You're gonna need a half inch ratchet, which I have right here, right? And then again, another half inch extension, right? Because sometimes the extension, it's gonna help you get in those tight spots. First thing we need to do is, let's check out your belts. You wanna look for any glazing. Glazing is anything that's smooth or clear or cracking. And then like for this belt, any splitting. So if you have any splitting like this, where it's all damaged, that's a good indication that the belt's bad. And those are the reasons why you would want to replace the belt. All right, guys, let's start removing the belt off the tensioner. Right now I got my half inch hooked up to the tensioner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push down. And again, always remember for safety, keep applying pressure and keep it there until you get the belt off and then slowly let it go back up. Now on the inside one, it's going to be a little different. What you're going to do is you're going to push down, get that belt off and then let up. You're not going to be able to get the tool out and that's fine because we're going to leave it anyway because we have to push the tensioner back down. So don't freak out. Leave the tool where it is and then we'll just start taking off the belt. So on the belt, once it's loose, you're going to just start jiggling it and it's going to come off pretty simple. And all you do is just get it off all the, all the pulleys around right the crank. Once it's loose, you want to slide that belt over, over to the big side where the fan belt is and then you're gonna slide it in between the two pulleys. So you may have to twist the belt a little. Once it's out, you're gonna get around the fan and then you got your uh, serpentine belt out. All right guys, in the last video that I did about the fan belt, I just wanna show you guys the difference, your fan belt compared to your serpentine belt. There is a big difference. You apparently can't get the fan belt around the serpentine and also it's 10 grooves compared to eight grooves. So when you guys determine what, your, what, what belt you need, fan it has the bigger and shorter and then the uh, serpentine L is going to be thinner and longer all right guys so once you get the new belt you're going to put it back over the fan once you get it back over to the fan I suggest you work your way over here by the tensioner what you're going to do is you're going to work your way in between you may have to do a little song motion but once you get it flat and like I said where it's smooth you want to make sure the back end of the belt is on the smooth part then you slowly just start working the belt on all right, you're going to put it under the idler pulley, get it over the water pump. There's an idler pulley here. Work it around the crank. Once you get it around the crank, this is going to go up like this, just like so, around the alternator. Again, make sure the belt is all properly secured. Once you get that much left, you're going to push down on your ratchet, work your belt on. And again, double check to make sure everything is on. Then once you release, you can be able to take the tool out and then you have your belt completely installed on your truck on a Freightliner Cascadia DD15 engine. Today, uh, hopefully this was a great tip on a Freightliner Cascadia, which I have behind me with a DD15 engine. We talked about the serpentine belt, how to remove it, how to install it, and how to uh, determine when to replace it. Just remember, we're here to save you guys money. If you like what you saw today, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you have any questions or any concerns, don't forget to leave any comments at the bottom. And if you want any more contact, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys at the next video.